Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate a torque wrench with just a few simple objects. In order to do that, I have the torque wrench. I've got a piece of rope. I've got a 19 mil socket to use on the lug nut on my car. I've got three 10 pound weights, obviously totaling 30 pounds. And I have a measurement tape. So the very first step is measuring the torque wrench from the middle point of the drive or the anvil to the point where you're going to be hanging that 30 pound weight. In my case, I'm going to use that 17 inch mark which means my string or my rope holding the weight is going to be right on that point there and that'll make for an easier calculation okay, so step number two is you're going to do the math to figure out how many torque pounds you need to set your torque wrench to for this test so i measured 17 inches and i want to divide that by 12 because we're measuring foot pounds and that gives me 1.41 repetit in six so what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply that by the weights that I'm going to be using for the test. Now I mentioned that these are 30 pound weights, so I'm gonna multiply this by 30 pounds, 42.5. So I'm gonna set this torque wrench at 42.5 foot-pounds for the test. Step three, you're gonna tie your weights together and hang them from a rope. Uh, in this case, I've introduced a wrench actually onto this because I'm using the car instead of the truck. Uh, I need the weights to be a little bit higher. I can't have them sink so low because the, the car is lower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to tie this wrench underneath uh, the weights with a simple bowline knot. Now if you don't know how to tie a bowline knot, I encourage you to go over to my top five knots that everybody needs to know how to tie. So there you go, I just, it doesn't need to be perfect because all I'm gonna do is use it to hang the weights like that. The second part is if you don't know how to tie a figure eight knot, again, take a look at my top five knots that everybody needs to know how to tie and it'll be really easy for you to learn how to do it. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be functional, and that's it. This is the weight that I'm going to be hanging from my torque wrench for this test. Step four, I'm gonna set the torque wrench to 42.5, which is what we had measured. So there's 42.5. Step five, you're gonna attach the torque wrench to the lug nut on your car and have it sit as level as possible or as parallel as possible to the ground. Step six, hang the weight from the spot that you measured on your torque wrench. What you want it to do here, when you slowly release the weights, is you want it to click. Just gotta reset this up a little bit. Okay, did you hear that that time? Okay, so it clicked at 42 and a half. So what I'm gonna test is I'm gonna go up because I don't want it to click at 43 and a half, 44, et cetera, et cetera. I've set the torque wrench to 43, and what I want it not to do this time is I don't want it to click. So I'm gonna set this back on here again. Then I'm gonna slowly let go. And it's not clicking. So in my case, I set it to 42.5, it clicks. I set it to 43, it doesn't click. So that's exactly what I want. So in my case, this worked out. It's set to 42.5, it clicked. Set it to 43, it doesn't click. And that's exactly where I want it. And I know that I've recalibrated my torque wrenches recently and I like them to be very, very accurate. So this worked out. But I'm also gonna show you how to adjust the torque wrench up or down in case you didn't get the results that you're looking for. Adjusting a torque wrench is actually really easy. I've got a couple of different styles here. And the first one I'll show you is my 3 8 This is an oldie, but it works quite well. You'll notice it has a, a locking nut on the back here when you set the torque. So this doesn't come off for the adjustment, but there is a hole on the side. You're gonna use a Torx T15 bit to make those adjustments. And you just stick it in there, you tighten it if you wanna increase the torque and loosen it if you want to decrease the torque and that means the point at which the torque wrench is going to click. So for example if I have it set at 30 but I want it to click at 40, I'm going to tighten it until I get the setting where it clicks at 40. The other torque wrench, this is an old Mastercraft half inch. I use it for all of my lug nuts. I've had it for a number of years and the way that you adjust this one is a little bit different. All you do is you take off the cap at the back and you're gonna notice there's two things in there. Let's just see if you can. So there's a nut in there, and then you'll see there's an Allen key spot or a hex 
right there, which is the set nut, and that's how you adjust it. So in order to adjust this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a 15 mil or a 17 millimeter socket, and it's in there. And so what I do is I loosen it, and I just need to crack it free. Once it's free, I'm going to use an Allen key. But in my case, this one is actually a 3 16 and this one is actually opposite of that one. So if I want to increase the torque on this, I actually loosen this. And if I want to decrease the torque, I tighten it. Word of advice here, when you're making those adjustments, just make small adjustments at a time. Uh, do a quarter turn, do an eighth of a turn, do a half turn. If you're trying to figure out for your torque wrench, do I tighten it for to increase it or do I loosen it to increase it? Figure out at what point it's already stopped clicking and then turn it a half a turn and then test to figure out whether turning it clockwise half a turn actually caused it to increase the torque or reduce it. And from there, you can start making fine tune adjustments. So there you have it. Now you know how to test and adjust your torque wrenches. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking it and leave some comments to let me know what other kind of how-to videos you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful life-made simple videos.